Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about Malthusian economics and we discussed the diminishing average product of labor. However, average product of labor as diminishing is not enough to explain this Malthusian economics. Malthusian economics also brings a new concept and that is population grows when living standards increase. So first of all we need to know that the first concept was diminishing average product of labor. Diminishing average product of labor. And now we are going to study the second phenomena that Malthus said was the fact that there was a trap in which the world was for many centuries. So to explain that how the population grows when living standard increase, I will bring an example. An example in which, they, for example, there are only 20 men and they get rice about 1000. 100 kg rice for a month it's just an example so they to explain but we have saying that they are 20 men and there are 100 kg rice what I'm trying to say actually don't say men there are 20 people because it would be a bit sexist so say there are 20 people there might be 50 50 person male female or Anyway, so 100 kg rice, 20 people, but then these people increase to 40. But the concept is that lands remain fixed in this world land fixed. So 100 kg rice is still 100 kg rice for the people, or it increases by a small amount, say 110 kgs or 120 kgs. But the fact is that there were only 20 people before and they got 100 kgs of rice. It was enough for them because every person could get 5 kg rice. However, now 40 people and 100 kg of rice or we can say 120, the balance ha has been changed. The number of people have increased so much that let's say that every person needs around 30 kgs or say 35 kgs of rice every person to live needs 35 kgs every per person so 35 kg per person is needed in the first 20 people every person gets more than 35 kgs so they all are able to live however 40 people and 100 kgs of rice or say 120 they are not able to get 35 kg so their living standards decrease when there is increase in population as you can see so what actually happens is that there there is an equilibrium that is formed and this happens as population would decrease because not all of the people will be able to get the amount they need to live so they would die and as a result amount needed is to live would not be achieved and many of them would die and as a result an equilibrium would be formed there would be some specific population that would remain unchanged and that is what Malthus had to say that population would remain unchanged no matter what happens in the long run it would remain unchanged. Another thing that Malthus had to say was that the income level or in, for the economy is GDP per capita income level of the population would remain the same and my example also it you can see that the output remains the same people are able to get the same amount so income level of the population remains same no matter what happens actually it means that the population in the first is small so they are able to get a lot of food 
but after the increase in population the mood somehow remains the same so the people will die and the population would not be would not change there would be an equilibrium and there would also be an equilibrium of the income level of the population because the income of the people would also be quite static for their population it so we can easily say that there are two important points that Malthus brought first was the diminishing first was diminishing and this is very important you guys need to know diminishing average product of labor and number two was that living standards population increases with when living standards increase so this explains that how living standards remain quite stagnant because and the population as well because as the living standard increase population increased which causes diminishing average product of labor so what actually happened living standards increase so population increased so what happened population increases then the concept of diminishing average product comes on and what actually happens when this happens is that the living standards fall so there uh, there is a cycle which will I'll show in a while or in the next video and it will explain that how Malthus was saying that we live in a trap and there is a cycle and these two reasons are actually the ones which explain this concept so I'm going to end my video here and hope you guys understand it I'm going to talk about it further in the next video so stay tuned